Welcome back to Coffee Talk. I think we're on the next day, aren't we? Did she just... Wow. Okay. I mean, easy way to check it. Do we have people <laughs> still on the thing? Right. Group heads. Heads been updated? Yep. Who no, has it? How about the even whisper? Oh. We can read our story while we wait. Oh, do I really want to read though? Oh, uh, uh, that's mm, words. And I'll do the usual thing and just let, let you read, pause and read at your leisure. You know, read all the lines, reading the entire small stories too. No, oh, where am I throw out that fast? I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? You know what you write for my novel? Is one of your important temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me what are you going to write about? The coffee shop. This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Is that a facial of privacy? Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. <laughs> it's, it's like a breach of the customer's personal life, you know. Well, that's I know that. I just need some inspiration for this place. The story sometimes will be loosely based on why I hear and see him. How loosely based? Life walking up versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. They're really very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Oh, though you could just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. What? Just kidding. I do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, very excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories do I have. Oh, if it isn't Georgie. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Pop, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> the Pope on duty here. And the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So I'll uh, need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? And not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. No tea for some reason. Still remember my favorite, right? Coffee over hand sweetness? You got that right. Make sure not to use my oak. Yeah. I see your Tama Dasha Papa, everyone knows your lactose and Tom Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Sweet, healthy coffee. Sweet. Duh. Duh. Don't worry, don't use milk. What the hell would be sweet? Honey, Ben, Ginger, cheese, 
So the question though is, would it be two coffee, one honey, or or two coffee, or I mean, huh? Do I have mint yet? No, I don't have mint. Huh. I mean, we could try. Could try coffee, honey coffee. Mint, honey coffee. I mean, it's sweet to the coffee. Try it, might as well. Coffee or honey for the man on duty. <laughs> Not sure how many coffee with honey does it sound that common in my opinion, but oh well. Now everyone can manage the combination as well as you. It's like I looked on my list, it's like, uh, nothing I have makes anything you want. I don't understand the recipes. It's been a while, so. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. For primary source that you gave though, pop it, please. Are you happy? Still any task, huh? You never know. Boop, boop, boop. My old cheese sample. You just like their espressos. How bitter as shit. <laughs> so all this time for the green hair fairy. I'm not sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. How's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual, awful. But as I make a. Oh, they, they're up to friends now. Let's have some returns and short story writers. You can read my story on weird short stories at the Evening Whispers. I'd like to inspire to read something like Gary Nyman or Maruki. I reckon me? Words. Names. George White got. One raises out of the latter and don't cop. <laughs> well, that's a summary. To make him risky deal for boss. Yeah, pretty much. A kind deal. Possibly life altering deal. Very dangerous one at that. Okay. I dare you regret it. Not that much. Oh, seriously. Can I show the details properly? You tell. You see her using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. She ain't thinking. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. I don't see any safe haste that's fallen to. Yeah, in lack of that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Bob said, my dear chief doesn't know about it yet. Now I know it's going to be powered by our own parent company, anyway. So technically I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. Hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. Make me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop heads out to the world, okay? Just a fact. <laughs> not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your running career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you do just fine, Miss Freya. Have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? The coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that. And there's no stopping her. 
What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop. You know that post? <laughs> I would definitely write about that police officer. You might go to meet a character. Was that a compliment? Or are you making fun of me, yeah? I don't call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? I was probably worried about losing customers due to a breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'm going to be using real names. Now I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing, the stories I've heard, that would be the inspiration for the why I write. By the way, it's someone stationed here. Seem you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. No, no, no. Yeah, we watch one of the stories I read for the paper. Or for the super rich beggar hanging around the block. Sure you can give me help for interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Not right your turn to say come on. What stories are you talking about? You ask for information about the bus tour? Where he's always playing his guitar, Boat got rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. It's a poor guy. How about to go from passenger and investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. It took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least it gave him closure. You don't complain that you used this story for the paper? That's blessed before giving to the editors. Well, at least he's got more profits than the article was published. More income from somewhere in his line of work. Yeah, the roses become some kind of prop room now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay, have you heard about this one girl? Oh, tell me, tell me. I think this girl should come to a coffee shop in the area more than before. It's pretty well, I don't know what her deal is. There's bright green hell. Oh, come on. I was always say to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my crew coming downhill. How much of the sun moved? Yeah, chill up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Not because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there was this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures. How we still improve. I heard their story. I felt the pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. We've talked on Fitcher on Forum countless times before. It's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regular as hell? Nope. You've visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with co workers or clients. Helping her friend sober up, I guess. Gave you for coffee and sober up? Of course not. Some folks are Chris Coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually I'm giving them some tea. Hot chocolate, just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. When you look at the time, it's time for my shift. Yeah, go on. Do your job, old man. Don't forget to show anything interesting you hear with me. Yeah, that's not Mike, that's a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. But I need to concentrate like crazy. So I move to my usual corner. Eh, good luck with the running. Don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Yo, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best, Bombs. You're welcome. Okay, off to the water of imagination I go. Go on. So who's going to visit us today? Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Ah, let's see. Voice, 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 voice. Thank you. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, this is the place you recommended. 
Why do I always go with the default? High society rules. You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shop you're used to in LA. But. Come on. It's fine. Er. Sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? Me first. Okay. It's a with coffee and ginger, please. Boop. Boop. Bantam with coffee and ginger. Do 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 do. Wait, where's where's that one? Ah. Coffee, coffee, ginger. Uh, that's gotta be bitter as shit, but anyway, sir. Oh, hey. By doing that, we have learned a new recipe. Ginger precise with the ground coffee. And the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. We have learned a new recipe. How's it going? Still no new info. Yeah. The order is ready, sir. Thank you. Power barrel to you, sir. How would you like to order? Isn't good. I like it. I sure if it would be to your liking or not. Okay. I have whatever you said. Mm. Good choice. Anyway, how's the town tree you so far? Mm, same old. I'm surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things change a lot in just 20 years. And even this coffee shop. I think this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? Yeah, we opened around six years ago, Mr. Hyde. My name is Hyde. So now we know Hyde is a family supermodel. He birthday for forever. He's a vegan vampire. Great. There's a professional model. Well, there you go. Well, well, I gather you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. But you have known each other a long time, I assume. Mm, you could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Well, that was a long time ago. Not for our account. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in... So is it 1960s or 1860s? 1865. So when you said you guys meant the 60s, we're we talking about the 1860s? <laughs> no, we meant the 1960s. We're old by some, we're old by some racist standards. But not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other for a long time. This 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it, where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, uh, such a pity. I don't know, maybe it was fair out. Nah, I can't. That's in Glitch City, this is Seattle. 
something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Ah, thank you, Mr. Gauntlet. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Is it work? Kind of. It's the news about the newfound virus going viral. Hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? I wasn't sure about that. Most people who come in are just... I don't want to use the word. But the pill. We are still doing the same job in the same hospital. What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer though. I should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position. But I declined. I prefer doing this. Eh. To each their own. Anyway, I was wondering. Do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh huh. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital? You can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not very. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah. How's your vegan diet doing? Eh, it's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking, but going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Eh, not real blood. Synthetic blood. Uh, synthetic blood? Eh, it'd be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working. Create some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some culture and health concerns. Does it taste the same? Mm, more or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, I'm still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Since that blood tastes good. Mixed with other ingredients? Why? Start sort of selling blood based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Oh hell, we could become the first vampire coffee shop. Wouldn't that be a thing? Since we do open up after hours. Blood coffee. Blood tea. Mmm, blood tea. Honestly, I don't know if mixing ever tastes good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Though some do try and spell matching with other things. Other things? Obviously booze. But I know some of them mix it with not so legal substances. Heh. <laughs> you know a lot. I work at a hospital, remember? When you're talking about my vegan lifestyle, it reminded me to ask you something. About what? You're a wealthy fairy. Are the less painful methods to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know it that's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you offer order coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. This drink wasn't the one. Because there's too much caffeine and coffee for it to be the remedy. Yeah, I think we require like a tea. I don't use the very sanitary available on the market. I don't trust them. Besides, that sensitive is too 
general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. Sometimes the fashion has to change as we grow older. How is that with the strength be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least you'll call me that if it is only a drink. I just want to what I need to do. Mm, kinky stops to see with themselves during the ferry. What kind of kinky? Like beating at him. Now he happens in porn. Wait, what? It's fine, it's among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, hey a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex with the comic method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Oh god, vanilla stuff. No. to think of it. It would be pretty weird from doing party stuff <laughs> during the ferry. I could see that being well. Not from what I would see before. Exactly. So continuing with your story. How far along are you in finding the green for your remedy? So far, all I know is it involves gentry. Probably something like the caffeine. Like tea, maybe. Well, we don't have tea yet. You better write that down. Well, what am I making happen in the coffee shop? Uh, sadly, we don't have any tea today. The last time you face the name, maybe I tried brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. Mm, dot, 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 dot. I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can show a cab. Alright. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Ah, thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Now what do you have to say about that, Freya? Hey. Are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. There's two guys. I remind you of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. Fair for war pup playing with baby tiger. Nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? Something yaoi, probably. Oh, never mind. You. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're very bad at it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting episode tonight. Now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. See you again tomorrow, I assume. Now don't you worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night night. Get up on your way back. Is that it for the day? Huh. I forgot how short these days are. I think Fair Ho actually had Well here's the thing, Fair Ho had longer days but yet some days like towards the end were like only 30 minutes and someone like at least 40 to an hour at the start but anyway um hell yeah that's it for this day so but I guess next time Thursday if I'm going to do a day of video Let's see what we have. Despite losing a member of Super Smiles latest album sold a million copies. Flocky's now part of Sir at some private high schools. Dear Lord, why? Why would you do that? Okay, stop workplace racial profile in the orchid worker unit demands.
Oh, what's up? Be right with you next video. Hope you all enjoy. Thank you. Have a nice day.